Kai and Law Yahweh, Ba'a Shami Ha'usha, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings unto the elect. Alright, I'm back with another quick uh, video, just uh, going to go into uh, a few scriptures. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start with Ecclesiastes chapter 5, and verse 4. Alright, it says, When thou vowest a vow unto the Most High, prefer not to pay it. For he had no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Okay, so it says, When thou vowest a vow unto the Most High, prefer not to pay it. Okay, now, you know, when we come into this truth, you know, uh, basically, man, that's you. Making a vow unto the Most High, okay? Y'all about show me I was shot. You know, the moment you accept this and, and, and believe on this, and then you come from, you know, from a point from uh, learning on, on the, uh, you know, on the other side to joining into the camp, you know, hey, from that point on, man, you done made a, your vow unto your how about show me I was shot to serve Him, man, to do His will, man, you know. Learning this word, okay, getting built up, and going out on the highways and byways and, and preaching it, man. You know, and actually living this word, man. Not being a hero only, but actually living it. You know, because that's this thing is a lifestyle, man. You know, it's not just something to be a part of, man. Just because it's the end thing. You know, if that's how you're thinking, then you, hey, you're gonna be in for a rude awakening, man. <laughs> right? But to go back through it real quick. It say, when thou vowest a vow unto the Most High, defer not to pay it. For he had no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed, man. All right? A part of that is uh, going out and pushing his word, man. You know? Not being idle, man. Sitting around with your hands in your pockets. Okay? You know? Man, you got to get down and, and dirty, so to speak, man. You know, don't be ashamed of the gospel, man. Get out there. Hey man, do your service, man, unto the Lord, man. You know. Okay, Numbers chapter 30 and verse 2. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. Right, man. So once again, you made a vow to y'all by Shem Yahweh Shah, man, to do his will, man, okay? You know, but you got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities, you know? And some things that, that you can just do, man, it's not hard, man, you know? You got, you know, you know certain men that still find, have an issue with shaving their beard, man, you know? Which... Brothers already should know, okay, according to the law, we shouldn't uh, mark the corners of our beard, man, okay, shaving off your beard, right, for brothers that can grow one, you know, Numbers 32, if a man vow a vow to the Lord or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word, he shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth, right, so yeah, man, Everything in this book, man. All right, you committing yourself to it. All right, from the moment you come, be a part of this, uh, you know, truth. You know, you gotta hold fast to it, man. All right, you know. There's no excuse. You know. There's, there's really no excuse, man. Okay. You can uh put a front and come up with some lame excuses to uh to the Akin. But in that day, you how about some y'all shot? You know, there, you won't have no excuse, man. You know, you either gonna be in it, or you you're not gonna be uh in it at all, man. You know, with that, once again, Kahala Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings unto the elect. Till next time, Shalom.